Hey, you rusty freaks. This isn't part of the revenge series. That'll be coming soon. This is just a tiny little video of PvP analysis because I found the perfect incident to showcase the two things that kill most Rust players most often. If you want to die less, and I guarantee this, if you recognize what I'm showing in this video and you follow my advice, you'll die way, way, way less. If you want to die less, watch this video, learn the two things, and don't do them. You'll live way more. So here I'm just going along in the water treatment monument and that's part of what's important about this video. If you don't have much loot, you can take risks. You don't mind so much about dying. So this is a video for when either you've got gear you don't want to lose or you've got loot you don't want to lose. So I was just looting this monument when I heard the recycler going. Here's the number one. It kills you. Greed. I thought, I've got a pretty good gun. I'm pretty good with the Thompson. I'm gonna get this guy. Okay, let's stop here. Because the second thing that kills the most Rust players is stupidity. Am I being stupid here? Yeah, not necessarily, because obviously I'm very damaged. So taking time out to heal is not a bad idea. But some would probably say I could have pushed over towards these stairs and kept fighting him because I know I got at least a headshot on him. I heard it. And at that point, I thought I'd hit him several times. This might have been a good spot to stop <laughs> and continue healing and peep, but I didn't. I decided to get more distance because I felt like I needed more time to heal. I didn't have syringes except this one, so I wanted to eat as much as possible. And here's where I make my second mistake. Without a flashlight or a torch, why would you go into a tunnel? I mean, you could use just the entrance of the tunnel to hide and heal and peek from, but look what I did. Well, he had a friend, and they tracked me down, and I couldn't see them. So they killed me. Okay, to analyze. Most stupidity comes after the first exchange. Do you hide, you know, so you can peek and shoot? Do you push? Do you retreat? And we already decided I was stupid in my retreating portion. Like, where do you retreat to? I would have been better off to just pick anything to take cover behind and just keep fighting. Or, as I said before, um, some people would have chosen right at the start to push by going to those back stairs and um, you know going back up to the level he's at. You know, hindsight is 2020. You can't always think straight in the heat of battle. But there's other stupidities involved here. Obviously, preparation. I'm always going on about how stupid it is when people don't put flashlights on guns. After you've crafted a gun, always attach a flashlight to it. Don't go out without having a flashlight. Now, in this case, I didn't have it blueprinted yet, but I shouldn't have gone anywhere without a torch. It's just stupid. And if you don't have a torch, why go into the dark? Duh. Um, being greedy in the first place, that's stupid. If I've just found two or three items I wanted to blueprint, I should have gone home as quick as possible. So greed is stupid. Um, there's another part which you probably wouldn't have thought about in this, and I didn't say anything when it happened, but it's crying foul when you have a fight and you get killed or the guy doesn't die as fast as he People scream and carry on, the game's broken, it's a cheater. Or... In this case, I would have sworn I hit him several times. But when you slow down the video, see, I only hit him once. The one headshot. Look. So like I said, by the time I was running away, I thought I'd hit him several times. But if you look, 
miss, miss, miss. There was that one headshot at the start, but look at all this. Miss, 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 miss. It's all misses. He was stupid too. He did a really dumb thing. He jumped, you know, you never do that. When you jump, it makes your movement path predictable. When someone jumps up, you know exactly where he's going to be landing and the arc of his jump and so on. But yeah, <laughs> so before you cry foul or cheat, um, maybe you screwed up. <laughs> so the two takeaways of the two things that kill more Rust players than anything else, greed and stupidity. And stupidity in this case is not fighting from advantageous cover, retreating, which is usually bad, giving you back, not being prepared in the first place, and letting greed affect your judgment. Hope this helps you guys. Pax us out. Paxis. Paxis. Yeah, that's bad.